Okay, so the last video I told you about um, about doing a longer video about the um, the outboard motor, um, all the stuff that it you know it's inside the controller and the uh, how I build it and that kind of stuff. But uh, two weeks ago, I broke the uh, controller. I accidentally um, connect two wrong wires together, and there's a there was a puff of smoke and. Uh, and a hissing sound uh, and the uh, controller kind of burned so I've been now without the uh, the main controller for a few weeks now so I was not able to do all the tests and uh, collect all the data that I wanted to to do the longer video In this video, I'm just gonna, well, go through all the stuff that I've been doing since since the summer, you know, when I got back here. Um, the stuff that I, you know, fixed on the boat, the new stuff that I've been installing, and, um, well, also the stuff that I broke. I've, I've broke, well, too many, too many parts of the boat, yeah. But it's been a you know learning curve, so yeah, that's a good thing, I think, in the end. So first of all, the stuff that I broke, well, the, the biggest thing is the, the controller. I'm, uh, I'm supposed to get the, uh, the new one back, uh, maybe this week or next week. So after that, I can start doing the, um, the main video about the, uh, the outboard motor. But um, before that, I kind of started a small fire on the boat also. Again, connecting two wrong wires together. And the, uh, you know, because the battery banks are so big on my boat, there's a lot of, lot of current there. So when you connect the wrong wires and you don't have main fuses there, now I have, you know, big fuses there, but um, back then I, didn't, I did not have. So, well, the, even the, you know, the thickest wires, they get, they burn and they burn fast and they produce a lot of smoke. So I started a little fire and after that, I, I kind of, I, um, I forgot to, to put the, um, the converter that, you know, makes 12 volts for the, uh, couple of instruments and that kind of stuff. I forgot, to, you know, to put that you know on so the 24 volts that what is the main main um main voltage on my boat it got loose and it went to my wind wind meter and uh depth sounder and they just popped like like this so i had to send them back to the to UK to get uh, to get fixed and I got those back already so they are now working and I also broke one contactor which which was a you know doing some stuff for the um, the uh, the motor I'll be talking about that later on the longer video but I have to order a new one from China um, what else well the things that I fixed or improved. Um, one big thing is the main sheet. It's now over the uh, hatch that where you go inside. So there's a lot, of, lot more space in the uh, the cockpit, and um, it's performing quite well. So I'm happy about that. I also um, I I redid the um, the uh, depth sounder. Last summer I did it, you know, I MacGyver it basically. Just put the uh, instrument on the hull and then I put a lot, a lot of, you know, silicone over it. So just cover it in silicone. And it was working quite good, but not that, you know, it's, it was not perfect. So I ordered the, uh, the original part for the, um, what do you call it? You call it in, inside the hull installation so there's a tube and you know oil and that kind of stuff and it's working good it's, it's working better now so that's a kind of an improvement yeah 
and uh, then I have installed uh, a lot of new stuff on the boat. One big thing, you know, beside the uh, the motor is the radio. I have now VHF radio that uh, supports the uh, AIS, AIS, yeah, AIS uh, system, so I can see all the big ships, you know, going there. And it also has a GPS inside, you know, integrated. So it's kind of a, you know, complete package. So the radio can itself, you know, it knows where I am and uh, it also can detect all the uh, the bigger ships that I that are going, you know, around me. So uh, it's kind of a kind of a, like a, a radar sort of and um, if this you know if there's a trouble if i have to make a distress call or mayday i can just put you know press one button and uh, i don't have to have any gps you know device mm, attached to the radio because radio has a gps chip inside so yeah it's i think it's pretty good and uh, I think you know all the radios should have you know GPS inside because then they yeah. don't have to rely on the uh, uh, the plotter or that kind of stuff you know for the um, for the position data. What else? Yeah, I also have the um, a remote controller for the uh, autopilot. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I got it from uh, from this guy from Australia. He sent it to me last year, and I, I didn't have the time to install it, but uh, it's it's working great, and I like the fact that I can go go to the bow and you know sit there by myself, and when when the wind is good, you know I can I could just you know cruise along, and if I have to make some small adjustments for the uh, the course, I can just you know press the a small button like this, and the boat steers itself. So. It's pretty neat, I think. So now I've been, you know, sailing more and more because the boat is working. Uh, I've been, you know, making day sails with my friends, my dad, and also uh, my my brother and his family. Uh, it was pretty nice. Uh, he has, uh, you know, three kids, so they were all there, and they were. It was the first time for them, you know, to go sailing, and I think also for my for my brother and uh, his wife. So it was nice to, you know, show them all the stuff that is on the boat, all the, uh, you know, the electric motor and that kind of stuff. It's so quiet, you can talk and you can cruise and, you know, that kind of stuff. And all the solar panels, yeah. And they were like, well, you have this cover on, yeah. And I was like, they have solar panels. We are, we are producing electricity all the time when we are just cruising there, so. It was pretty nice, so yeah. So I think this was it. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.